I'm at uh, Forest Lawn Cemetery uh, off of 56th and Young Street, North Omaha. And uh, the entrance is over there towards the left. And over there is the names of all the people that are buried here. Most of them don't have markers. Potter's Field. Over here. is the grave of Will Brown, William Saunders Brown, who was accused of assaulting a 19-year-old white woman. He was 40. He worked at uh, Omaha's meatpacking industry. And 200 boys gathered at Bancroft School in 1919, uh, September 28th, and decided to march down to the courthouse it's, uh, between 17th and 18th and Farnham and Harney, across from the Woodman Tower. And um, They'd been there for about an hour or so, and other people had gathered there. And they went from like a group of 200 to 4,000 men and boys that were angry. And uh, Will was in the jail at the courthouse. He hadn't even gone through a trial, had a trial yet. Just been arrested. And... Uh, by five o'clock, they were break, trying to break in and get him. Eventually, the mob, the angry mob, had set the courthouse on fire, and the mayor had tried to come out to calm him down, and they ended up uh, trying to hang him. He ended up having a noose around his neck like three times, and they actually did hang him, but he was rescued before he died and he was in the hospital for several days recovering but they ended up getting Will Brown and whether he was guilty or not it was a horrible way to die they hung him up on a telephone pole on the uh, north or excuse me the uh, no, no, the south side, I believe, it was on Harney. And then they shot his body like a hundred times or so. And then they pulled him off there and tied him up to a car and dragged him from 18th and Harney to down 7th, or excuse me, north 17th Street to Dodge. And then they took uh, some gasoline and, and uh, kerosene, I think, actually. I think it was kerosene from the red lanterns that they used for, to warn people about construction that was being done. They poured his body w with it and uh, built, built a little pyre with wood and stuff and set his body on fire. And this went on through the night so like three in the morning. They don't know exactly when he died. Some say it's the 28th, which is what it's marked here. It's, but some think it might have been the 29th after midnight. But uh, this year marks the 99th year since it happened. Since uh, the riot or the race riots they were going on in the red summer of 1919. We'll never know whether he was guilty or not, but I feel for his family and friends. And obviously, they're 
have been people that have stopped by. There's a postcard, rock, and some flowers, as you can see. He didn't deserve to die the way he did. Justice wasn't served. And also there's, there's uh, been talk, speculation, that it was all set up because the mayor of Omaha, uh, there, that there was a guy that was in the crime, um, or I, I can't remember his name, but that he was trying to get the mayor to, uh, like, you know, get involved in some of the criminal activities or whatever. And so they think that the whole thing might have been set up. The lady who accused Will Brown might have even been paid to accuse him of that so that they could get a hold of the mayor and try to kill him. Who knows? I suppose the only one that really knew, ones that knew was Will, the woman that accused him, and God. Well, I just wanted to share this because uh, I think it's important to remember these things. Just like it says on his gravestone, lest we forget. And by the way, this, uh, this marker was bought by a man in California after watching a documentary about Henry Fonda. And Henry Fonda said in the documentary that now, he grew up in Omaha, and he said that he watched the whole thing take place at a building, I can't remember, something I think his uncle owned or something, on 14th, or no, excuse me, he was 14 at the time. And he said that it, it forever made an impact on his life and uh, also affected some of the characters that he played, how he played them. I think that's the point of all this, is that lest we forget, it's important to remember the lessons of the, from the past, or we're destined to repeat them, or repeat the mistakes, I should say. So I'm going to take a moment here, and just be quiet. Any of you would like to leave comments telling me your thoughts on this, feel free. Thanks for watching.